Given the debate in the UK at the moment around the court and the convention, it's particularly important that the UK takes part, is part of that debate, and helps to introduce young people and students to the process here. And the main topics of this case is LGBT rights, minority issues, and reproductive rights. So it's a very modern and very detailed challenging case which I've been waiting myself and I'm looking forward to see how the outcome, outcome will be. So the second team, which will be pleading against team 46 in the grand, in the grand final, will be team 82. On behalf of the Grand Jury of this year's European Human Rights Moot Court Competition, I welcome the finalists and congratulations for reaching this final point of this year's competition. Article 2 is undoubtedly one of the most fundamental provisions of the Convention. As the Court has stipulated in Pretty versus the United Kingdom, as well as McCann and others versus the United Kingdom, the right to life is the foundation for the enjoyment of all the other rights and constitutes core value of the democratic societies of the Council of Europe. However, it was not awarded the proper respect by the Utopian Republic, which failed to comply with its positive obligations arising under Article 2 of the Convention. What exactly is, uh, is your argument? The serious facts in this case is that the Utopian law is deficient. It does not provide enough safeguards for the protection of the patient's lives, and as such, um, and reversible violation could occur. You start talking about same-sex partnerships. Could you please make it more clear for this court what is your point? It is about providing recognition to the applicant's same-sex marriage given the fact that the same right is indeed provided in heterosexual couples as well. And the fact that the Utopian Republic did not uh, provide it uh, the proper means for the recognition of the applicant's marriage constitutes a profound discrimination based on sexual orientation. Even if the court finds that Article 12 is not applicable at the case at hand, it is the applicant's key submission that the domestic authorities' refusal to recognize the applicant's marriage constitutes a violation of their rights as protected under Article 8, taken in conjunction with Article 14 in a threefold way. First, with respect to their family life. Second, as regards Cain's private life and personal autonomy. And last, but not least, their parental rights. I'm just wondering, do you still wish to complain under both Article 8 standing alone and read together with Article 14, or are you simply taking the discrimination point? I would now like to turn to the issues raised by the applicants under Article 2 of the Convention. We would first like to ask the court to find this violation manifestly ill-founded. If this is not accepted, we respectfully ask the court to find no violation of Article 2 of the Convention. The ground for inadmissibility is manifestly ill-founded nature of the complaint. On behalf of the Grand Jury, I thank both teams for their participation. Uh, the jury will now retire to deliberate and a verdict will be given later today.
winner of the 2014-2015 European Human Rights Moot Court Competition is Team 82, National and Capodistrian University of Athens, Faculty of Law, Greece. Quite difficult, to be honest, um, because the whole to the, all the terms were in Greek, and then at some point you would have to think in Greek and then in English. So it was it was very complicated, but I think we we managed fairly well. We had done so much work, and we had uh, literally lose our sleep. <laughs> so um, it was exciting winning. We were. Uh, awarded the first place and it was the greatest reward for all our efforts. It was great. As many people have commented, the quality of the pleading, uh, the quality of the outcomes and the quality of the students was, was on show for, for all of us to see. So I think the outcome is entirely justified. I'm very pleased, of course, that one of the UK teams made it through to the final, but offer my congratulations to the winners of the University of Athens.